know, with AI coming up with so many interesting things that people can do, uh, lots of people are actually using them for copywriting, for actually legal uh, papers and whatnot. Have you seen a big shift in how that's impacted you? Um, the only shifts I've seen have been actually quite positive. Um, I was a little bit worried when it first came out. I was like, oh, and then, you know, everything that so much of what we do is driven by having really good copy. And if AI can write copy the way we do, we're almost redundant. Um, and we're not there yet. So I think we're still quite a ways off from that. I think what AI does really well is, is shortens the time for research. So for example, for me to do research before, I'd be trolling through Reddit. I'd be looking at Amazon book reviews. I'd be listening to podcasts and it'll take me hours and hours and hours to do enough research for one of our clients. Now it's, I mean, it still takes hours, but a lot of the trolling through the internet can be done with AI. So that's been really, really helpful. Um, I try to use it to write the copy that we need. Uh, the copy, the style of copy I write or we do is direct response marketing. And it's, there's so much nuance behind it, so much psychology. And, you know, you've just got to be really, um, it, it's actually an art and it takes years to, to learn. And I don't think there's enough data out there for AI to get good at it just yet. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's not, it hasn't replaced what we're doing in terms of writing, but the research, it's been very helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you see in the next few years for yourself? Like where, where are you going? What's, what's big coming up for you? Uh, how do you stay ahead of AI so that it doesn't catch up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a great question. Um, our next big move is, is, is acquisitions. So we're uh, going to companies and partnering with them to grow together uh, versus you know what we've traditionally done, which is pay us retainer, we'll go do the work, you'll, you'll get the results. As long as you're paying, you're getting a lot more than you're paying us, everybody's happy. Now we're moving down market and actually helping people to, you know, to go through and change the businesses and also change their lives, but doing it in a very partnership way. Um, Beyond that, we're actually going to start buying businesses 100% and bringing them in and pu pushing our marketing engine behind those businesses. So it's a way that, you know, we we might in, in future have five to 10 great businesses. If AI ever does a copywriting thing amazingly, um, it's only going to be better for us because then it can write for those businesses as well. So that's kind of the next moves. I, I love that mindset. You're not worried. You're just going to go, you know what? It's great. If they catch up, we're going to use it and make it even better. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, um, because otherwise, there's you know, there's uh, you, you, you can either worry about it and stress about it. And um, I think there's a Steve Jobs quote that said, if we're not the ones killing our business in five years' time, our, our, our competitors will. So I'm always thinking, like, if I had to start again today, if I had to rebuild from scratch, if I had to make it better, how would I make it better? Like, how would I kill my own business? Um, so that I think has been kind of helpful because otherwise it's like, you know, trying to, trying to, trying to stop, stop the waves from coming in. Like, it's just going to happen anyway. You, you might as well catch the waves in. Awesome. How would you use badminton as a metaphor for success? Ooh, I love that question. <laughs> um, sometimes in badminton, you put all your effort and energy, and you, you know they jump and they uh, have these massive exertions of efforts to 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 slam the shuttle clock. But when the shuttle clock actually flies, it's not that fast. Like it, sometimes when they hit it, it's a lot of energy going to, but it's not that fast. But it gets where it needs to go. So sometimes it can look like there's a lot of energy being spent, um, but it's more about precision. It's more about just trusting that if you hit it the right way, it, it's going to get to where it needs to go. It doesn't have to go fast. It just has to get there. Awesome. I see that. So that's how success is like badminton.